What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to utilize Google Webmaster Tools. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about Block Geeks, how I grew it. And I've mentioned this before. I won't get into business models, but the number one way from the get-go, from the beginning, how I grew Block Geeks was focusing on providing high-value content and focusing on uh, SEO, just basic SEO. And while a lot of people like to focus on how to get more traffic, a few people focus on optimizing your current website and Google Webmaster Tools, even though I don't like their new update, they give you a gold mine of information. I mean, there's so much really good data with inside Google Webmaster that you can utilize for your site. And I'm going to go through some basic stuff that I do on a three month auditing basis. So every quarter we do a full audit on Google Webmaster. We pull out the data, we make a plan and then we re-optimize our content. Because when you view content, you don't want to view content as content. You want to view it as an asset. You spend time, money, and effort. So time to create it, money to produce it, and the effort to promote it. And then people forget about it. For me, I view, it, I view it as real estate, right? You have traffic coming to it. And how can you optimize this real estate? How can you optimize this asset? So I'm going to go through some basic stuff that I do on Google Webmaster Tools. And what I like to do is look at the last three months. So we got last three months. I want to look at CTR. I want to look at average position. Look at that. That's the latest Google update. It's been interesting. Um, so our average position for Block Geeks across all our content, across thousands of pages, we're average 14th position on Google, which is good. CTR could be a little bit better, but it's not too bad. And total impressions is 38 million. And so basically what you want to do is you want to click all the tabs over here. Then what I like to do is I like to click pages over here and uh, I want to do it by impressions, highest to lowest. And what I'm looking for is CTRs. So right, right away, I find a problem right away, right here. So we have a lot of impressions on our guide here. What is Bitcoin? Maybe we can pull it up so we can see it. Cool. So we have a lot of impressions on what is Bitcoin, but if we look at click through rate and it's on the seventh position, roughly, this is average. So take this with a grain of salt, but give or take it's on seven or eight, maybe even position six, but we're only getting 0 0.2 CTR click through rate. Meaning when people see it on Google, less than a percentage of people are clicking on that. Now imagine if we really optimize this well right now, we get better titles, we get better meta description. Imagine if we even get that to like 2%, how much more traffic will we get on this pre-existing high ranking guide? And so basically what I like to do is I like to click the guide and see what kind of queries are we ranking for. See, ooh, look at that. Interesting. Um, queries, sorry, here we go, queries. Queries, queries. Pull this up. And I'm gonna go by impressions again. And I will see the ones that we're ranking for. Actually, let me switch it to positions. Uh, the other way around, position one. Cool. Uh, no, let me go back to impression. That's better. So I want to look at the impressions of our keywords, what people are ranking for. And so we're rank, we're decent for CTR for what is Bitcoin. So people type in Google, what is Bitcoin? We're about 1.3. Bitcoin itself as a singular keyword is zero, but we're still on position 7.5. So this is room to play, right? So basically what you're doing is you're looking at keywords that your content is ranking for, but you're getting really bad CTR. So we make a list on the side. So the word, for example, uh, I would make a new list. Uh, you can use whatever online text editor or paper. I'll write down the keyword over here, Bitcoin, because it's having high impression below CTR. That means if we optimize our guide for better maybe better H1 or H2 of uh, Bitcoin or even H3, depending on how we have our guide structure, we might get better CTR. So we'll add Bitcoin to our list. So the second one we might add to the list is position 1.9. CTR is bad for this as well. So we'll add blockchain technology in there. The whole idea is you want to go through and look for high impressions, but low click through rates on top position keywords. So for me, it would be anywhere in the say top 12 position. And so here's another a classic example. A lot of people don't spell Bitcoin. Um, 
as one word they spell it at two words so maybe we can add a section in the guide where like uh it's it's frequently common so it's like a nice cool section of the guide it's frequently common that people misspell bitcoin bitcoin and then we discuss why it's not two different words it's one word then we include this actual keyword and hopefully we get the ctr higher than 0 0.2 because it's getting a lot we're getting about 80,000 impressions we're almost on the first page but we're only getting 0 0.2 percentage so basically what you do is you make a list of all the keywords that have a potential of bringing you more traffic that already are in a good position on Google that have very low CTR. And you go through this on all your pages. So if we go back over here, so if I eliminate this, eliminate that, let me just go back to the pages, pages itself. Oh, here we go. And uh, we will go back to impressions and then cool. And so go back to this, we'll see other ones over here. So this one's pretty good. What is blockchain 3.9? That's great. CTR, um, what is Ethereum? One might need some work over here. It's 1.2, it's not too bad. It's a competitive, you know, we can look into that. This one, here we go, Litecoin. Litecoin is 0 0.1. We can click that, we can see what's happening with this. We can go to the quarries as well, see what's happening. Okay, pull this up, impressions. Okay, look at this. So we have, what is Litecoin? Oh, that's really good. Um, see, once again, different spelling. This is a little cool hack I've noticed a while ago in SEO is a lot of people misspell things. And so if you can add a section within your guide talking about the misspelling or the reasons why it's not spelled a certain way, it really does help. If in context, right? If it all depends, right? So I would add a section like that. Uh, once again, two words, I would add that section. Um, yeah, just those two, right? So that's kind of like a basic scrub I do. I look at guides already getting a lot of impressions that's ranking decent but have really low CTR. And so basically what you want to do is you want to take those keywords, you want to then implement them within your guide. So the Bitcoin one, for example, for us over here, I would add a section maybe, I don't know, down here at the end talking about why Bitcoin is spelt as one word really go into detail, talk about, you know, the capital B versus uh, the lowercase b, what's the difference for that, and really go into the definitions of how the words are spelled, that might add value for there. And then the second thing I like to do is I like to t use this uh, pretty cool free tool over here called ctr.tools, now I don't want to sign up. And uh, I want to then enter this in. And once again, you're using this more or less as a guideline it's not 100 percent it's not like oh this is this is it the only way to do it but it gives you a general guideline so our score for this is 55 percent and it go and it takes you down and it shows you your title does not have any call call to action words your title does not use any power words your title does not have any numbers so it's a really cool tool to kind of give you some guidance you know you don't have to have 100 out of 100 but it's like, can we optimize our title? Because we've just realized our click-through rate on Google is low. So maybe it's like, for example, learn what Bitcoin, learn what it is Bitcoin 2019. So you want to play around with certain power words. You want to play around with the meta description. And they give you suggestions over here. For example, where is it? Dun, 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 dun. Cool. So you call to action words you can use, power words that you can use. And so that's it. But just imagine, like, if you go back over here, and if we go to uh, eliminate that, imagine if you could then optimize, if we go here, imagine if you can optimize just by 1%, how much more traffic you'll have, just by the click through rate, people clicking from Google to go on your site. It's not about getting more traffic. A lot of people forget that. It's about your pre-existing traffic, right? How do you optimize your click through rate? How do you optimize your title? How do you optimize your images? How do you create better formats for your guide? Site speed too, which I'll make another video about that. But I quickly wanted to make this video showing you like this simple small audit that you can do on your site. This is applicable to anybody, anywhere. Utilize it. It's, it boggles my mind why people don't utilize Google Webmaster Tools enough. I'll make another video uh, going into deeper. There's a lot of information you can do for this, especially when it comes to uh, mobility usage and then site links, which is pretty cool. But I wanted to make this quick video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions about this SEO marketing, leave a comment below this video. And don't forget to like, share, and have a good weekend, guys. Peace.